uh, things that like does uh, automated deployments. And he wrote that sweet, sweet, very well written. And the guy is awesome with the community. He's like, he accepts um, contributions and you can, it's all declarative. You can de define how your machines has to be built. You run the script and it builds the machine, makes it idem idempotent so that you know you install a post fix, put that thing in the config file, run it again. It just ensures things are in that state. It's, a, it's very cool. You should have a look. Ansible.cc, I'm not interested in that. I, know, I get no money from that. But I'll get money from my talk tomorrow at <laughs> 3.45, I think, on gEventSocket.io for the real-time web. I'm going to do a live demo. We're going to code 45 minutes, and we're going to build Google Analytics. Are we done? Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. And now we have Todd Whiteman talking about developing Python with the Komodo IDE. Yeah, hi, hi there, everybody. Um, I work for Active State, which is a small hippie town on the west coast called Vancouver. And uh, I work on Komodo. So the first thing to know about Komodo is that there's two different flavors, Komodo Edit and Komodo IDE. So Komodo Edit is uh, completely free, and it's completely open source, and it's a great Python programming environment to do things like uh, just editing your code, doing the highlighting, code colorizing, syntax checking so you can see the errors, and also work with things like remote files, FTP, SSH. And uh, both Komodo IDE and Edit work on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So Komodo IDE is the paid version, and it adds additional features such as being able to debug applications. So that's when you're running an application, you want to look at what it's doing real time. You can stop it, inspect the variables, see the call stack, that type of thing. If you're using source code control, then it provides facilities, such as for Git, if you want to do a checkout, see the status of your files, commit, push, pull, all of that directly from the IDE. Save you having to go to the command line. Uh, something that uh, most people don't know about Komodo is it's uh, built on top of Mozilla Firefox. and uh, we actually write a lot of Python. Probably about 50% of the code we write for Komodo is written in Python. So, Notepad. Nobody, no programmer out there should be using Notepad. There is a lot better alternatives. So, this is what Komodo IDE looks like. And uh, what it's showing is the, the code highlighting here. On the left, there's the, the code outline, so you can quickly uh, jump around your functions, classes, for your particular files. And uh, down the bottom, it's showing uh, debugging, where you can see the variables at the uh, runtime, the call stack. Syntax checking. So uh, you can see the errors directly in your code. And uh, that'll basically stop you from uh, committing some bogus code or trying to run an application that's uh, not correct. Save you some time. For Python, it actually works with uh, PyFlakes, PyChecker, PyLint as uh, also the standard interpreter for sanity checking. So uh, some of you might have seen uh, Mike Fletcher's talk about uh, code profiling this morning. Komodo IDE offers really great facilities for code profiling, and it's really easy to use. This is an example of what it looks like. So you can see the hotspots directly in your code. What's really great is each one of these items you can uh, interact with and see the underlying code directly in the user interface there. And it also supports both Python 2 and Python 3. Databases. For those that work with uh, Oracle, MySQL, or SQLite, you can connect those databases directly from Komodo. You can see the tables. You can run arbitrary SQL queries. Or you can uh, interact with the, the data itself and modify it. Uh, regular expressions, the bane of many a programmer. So uh, Komodo solves this problem by providing an interface where you can type your regular expression, see it uh, directly matching to the code, and as you, you tweak the regular expression, it shows you the, the different highlighting matches. So that saves you a lot of time. One of the new features of Komodo IDE 7 is code collaboration which allows multiple people to work on the same file at the same time, no matter where they are. And you can uh, see the changes that another, 
developer makes, really great for uh, code reviews, pair programming, and uh, just hacking on some code with a remote employee. So in summary, I'd just like to hope that uh, I provided you some compelling reasons to look at Komodo. And uh, if anybody wants to uh, track me down and discuss it further, I'll buy them a beer. And if you're already using Komodo, hell, I'll buy you two beers. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>